This is pretty crazy, you guys. We are on our way to the Minuteman National Historic Site, which is a nuclear missile launch site buried into the earth in all these fields out here, basically. This is not like any national park site <laughs> I've ever been to. This is the Delta One Launch Control Facility, part of a more than 13,000 square mile swath of Western South Dakota that was on the front lines of the Cold War between the Soviet Union and the United States and our allies from 1963 to 1993. Ranger Jim Bench is showing us around. Okay, what's going on? First I see the restricted area, the picture of the soldier, use of deadly force authorized. Are there bombs in the area here that can go off? No, all, all of those have been taken away. They're long gone. This is the way it used to be. OK. We're preserving history here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll check out the top side first. Jim worked here in the 1970s, when this place was on alert at all times. Back then, there were 1,000 Minuteman missiles scattered throughout the western US and 150 here in South Dakota. And our enemies knew it. You would have to be the world's dullest spy not to know exactly where our missiles yeah. were. That was the point, right? Is to let people know that these exist as a, a deterrent. Absolutely. Step on into the launch control facility. Topside, as Jim calls it, looks like an average American dorm and cafeteria. Hop aboard when you're ready. Cool. But 30 feet below ground is anything but ordinary, as illustrated by the eight-ton blast-proof steel and concrete door with its ghoulish humor. This is one enormous door. Well, welcome to Delta One Launch Control Center. Wow. This is a Cold War era bunker specially designed to withstand a nuclear attack. This control center was full of what was state-of-the-art technology. This is the missile status indicator panel. Used by the crew to remotely monitor all the missiles in its care. Nuclear safety was our job one. It wasn't launching missiles. Are we going to get to see one of these missiles? Absolutely. The Minuteman missiles were strategically positioned in unassuming fields throughout western South Dakota. This is Delta 9 launch facility. It houses an 80-foot underground silo and the aptly named Minuteman missile. It took three minutes to get that warhead going, 15,000 miles an hour, heading north over the North Pole, up to 6,000 miles plus into Soviet territory. Wow. Today, this silo has a glass roof that allows park visitors to peek in and check out the weapon. But we're getting a rare chance to climb down inside the silo for a closer look. Pretty steep ladder, big drop, so just making sure we're safe. Coming down. We're heading down this ladder into the silo where we're going to check out this massive missile. We're climbing down while also being lowered with this pulley. All right, we're down. This isn't something you do every day, climbing into a silo. All right, we're off rope. Let's check this out. Wow. Up close, you feel the enormity of the weapon and its capabilities. Yeah, so the cone right there is where the warhead would be. All the rest of this is just, just that, missile. yeah, just missile and vessel to get it there. A 57-foot missile topped with what was a 1.2 megaton nuclear warhead capable of reaching its intended target within the Soviet Union in less than 30 minutes. A weapon that, in the end, may have actually deterred a nuclear war. Today, there are still 400 active Minuteman missiles keeping a silent watch in North Dakota, Montana, and Wyoming. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave any questions or comments that you have. And please, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more to come.